probably all my life if you listen to my family, because I was always the one, I have two sisters, who was always making something or creating something from more early morning to late at night. So I would say that was my art business. And I certainly made like businesses out of it and I just did all these different things to drive everybody um, a little crazy in my family. Um, and that included not just fine art, but I would make clothing for them and make them try them on and then do all these things. Cat clothes, dog clothes. Um, so I used lots of different mediums. And I would say as far as that goes, I've always been doing something. How long have I been doing things that actually made a profession out of what I do in the arts? When I was in college, I started selling my pottery and my jewelry. And so that was probably, you know, what actually helped me. You know, when I think about every step of the way that I've made passages in my life, I think of how I get back as much as I take away from something and then I, it comes full circle. So I was fortunate enough to be able to go to college to take these classes to then sell my wear somebody in, in class for wine my pieces and then it made me feel better about what I did and artists are like that. We kind of we like to do what we're going to do for ourselves and communicating to others but then when we get some kind of recognition, like somebody says, oh, I really like that. That's so much the, the full circle part of being a professional artist, whether it's teaching or whether it's being a fine artist and selling your work. And so that helps me take the next step. If I always did something and I had negative feelings about it, I don't really know as an artist how long I would have done this as a professional artist. So. I feel very lucky for that, that I've had all those opportunities to do what I do.